Hey guys, it's Jay of Simplinks here, and uh, today I will be doing a video on how to make uh, better reptile videos and how to get a better reptile uh, channel. Um, now, I want to preference this video by saying that I'm not an expert, I don't have hundreds of thousands of sub subscribers, however I do feel I possess some tips um, that some people might take use from. Um, I think there's a lot of things that I do that have helped me get to a thousand subscribers that I think a lot of people could use and I think that would help a lot of people so like I said I'm not claiming to be an expert I'm just trying to offer a few tips because um, I always like to help people I always tend like to give people a lot of shout outs so their channel can grow and um, so that's this but um, just before we get into this video I do want to give a few updates now on the screen in a few seconds will be a time where you can just go to skip to the video because I want to do a couple of minutes of updates now you can watch them if you want to, I, I would like you to watch them however uh, if you don't want to you can go straight to the video, you can go to that so uh, now we'll get into my updates okay so the first thing I'd like to say is that there will be a new series running on my channel um, I will be doing a series called Snake Debate uh, either on a Tuesday or a Thursday and basically Snake Debate is a series where I will be taking a topic within the reptile or specifically snake community and I'll be giving my opinions on it. Uh, sometimes I'll be joined by special guests um, that I've already lined up a few so uh, that should be exciting. Um, basically I'll just be talking about a few things. Um, and I'm really excited for this thing because I, did, I know I did it in the 1000 subscribers special and I got a lot of positive feedback on it. So I'm hoping that I can implement this as a, a series throughout throughout the channel, and I hope you guys really like it. Um, now I'm struggling for ideas. I've got about four or five at the moment, um, which will obviously last me you know, about four or five weeks. This will be starting next Tuesday, hopefully. And when I say next Tuesday, um, I mean what what date will it be? It will be the 12th of January, I think. So starting 12th of January, which is the next Tuesday from this video. Um, so you can look forward to that. And the next update I'd like to do is that um, hopefully on Saturday, along with my um, along with my Saturday video, I will be posting a contest rule video because I really want to be doing a little contest now. Um, for a thousand subscribers, I really appreciated it, but I didn't think the video was just enough over like the past few weeks. So I've decided that I'm going to do a contest. Now, I'll only quickly mention what it is here, because the full video will be up on Saturday. However, basically, what I want to do is uh, just give a three channels that I really like, a, like a really good in-depth like for me talking about what I like about them, and hopefully get those three channels um, <coughs> some more subscribers. So what I'd ask you to do is like make a video um, and put it on your channel. Tell me in the link to that video on my on my video, and then um, and then I'd go on it. I'd look at them all, and then I'd pick three winners that I think would be uh, that are good channels. And in the video, I'd ask you to t say like why you why you think you should uh, be a winner, why your channel's good, and then just maybe give me like a collection tour or something like that. Because I think that'd be quite cool. However, that does kind of end my update. So like I said, there'll be another video on Saturday about that. But those are my two updates. That there'll be a new series and I'm doing a little contest. But now we'll get into the... Okay, so now I'm going to be giving you um, some tips that I've gathered um, while making YouTube videos that a lot of people don't seem to do. But I think would really help their channels. So I'm just going to get straight into this. Um, there are a, f a few main ones that I've thought of that I think would really help people. And I'll just the first one is uh, your title. Now the title is a really important factor. Um, you need it's. I'll give you an example. That's probably the best way for me to do this. If I c made a video called "Feeding My Snake Collection," that video that I have actually uploaded titled that has twenty five thousand views. Now that is absolutely ridiculous amount for me. Now what I see a lot of people doing, instead of instead of typing their video like that, something people will search for, uh, they might title it something like, for, for me for example, I might if I titled it Feeding Coco by Pinstripe Royal Python, nobody's going to be searching for that video. No, like nobody's going to be typing uh, Feeding Coco my uh, Pinstripe Royal Python. So you want to be titling it something people will look for. 
Now along with this you want to be including your tags. Now these are your YouTube tags here that should be up on screen right now. And basically what those are is that's what you'll enter like keywords in there and that's when if someone searches that keyword your video should come up or be in the lists. So you want to make sure that you're including as many of those as possible to do with a, a video. So when I'm searching, when I type, it, when I upload a video of a uh, snake feeding, I'll upload, I'll put tags of snake feeding, snake eating mouse, snake eating rat, um, um, you know, things like this. A lot of different things that people will be searching. I need to think that when I'm searching, what would I be searching? Because that's what's going to attract people to your video. Okay, so the next thing I want to be talking about is thumbnails. Thumbnails are absolutely crucial. Um, let me give you an example. When I did my Feed My Snake collection video, that thumbnail is Coco wrapped around a rat. Now that photo isn't from one of the three suggested. I specifically took that photo because after I uh, fed her, I saw that that was a really good opportunity for me to get a good photo of her. And it, I knew that that would be a good thumbnail because that little window, the thumbnail, is people can see a snippet into your video. So if they see that as good quality and, uh, you know, very clear, then they're going to want to click on it. Um, if your thumbnail, however, is just like really pixelated, is dark, enclosure, I wouldn't want to click on a video like that because I know it's not going to be very good quality. Even if it is, that one little snapshot of the video could make it look really bad and that's not going to want people to click on it. Along with this, there is something called clickbait thumbnails. Now, I have used these in the past. Um, would I advise them? No, but yes. I mean... Clickbait thumbnails, if you don't know what they are, that's basically, when I uploaded a few of my early collection tour videos, I would set the thumbnail as a picture of racks or some really cool vivariums, because people see that and they think that it be looks like a really cool video, which is kind of wrong of me, and for that I did get a few dislikes. However, luckily for me, I got a lot more out of it than I got, uh, like there were a lot more positive than there were negative, so I got a lot more subscribers from that video than I got dislikes, like I might have got 8 dislikes, which is a lot for me, because I only got like 15 likes, um, but I also, from that video, got 25 subscribers, which at the time when I uploaded them, that was a huge amount. So they're good, however you will get criticism, criticism for them, especially if your video that is actually in it isn't very good. For example, if I put a clickbait thumbnail on my video and then the video itself was a 240p resolution, me just going over one tank and the tank's all messy and it's a bad video, um, that's going to make it even worse. However, if you can use a clickbait thumbnail and the video is good anyway, then I, I suppose it doesn't really matter as much. However, it is something to consider. I, I don't do it anymore because I, I, I don't really want to be like um, deceiving my potential viewers, if you want to call it that. But I don't really like doing that, so I just kind of pick, take a good photo of the room now. Um... But yeah, that is something that you can consider. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be talking about is quality and editing. Now, I would always recommend that when you're doing these videos, you don't need to have good editing skills. You don't even need to edit at all. Um, if you look at, a, look at a, a quite a few big channels, such as um, Mike Tichula and uh, things like that, he has around 13,000 subscribers and he barely edits. He might just do a few cuts, he might just do a time lapse here and there. It's nothing special. Um, so, editing isn't really a big thing to do when you're doing reptile videos. However, it's always nice when you see someone putting some effort in it. And that is always going to get you a few su subscriptions through seeing you try. Um, however, one important factor that really bothers me is when people. Um, are filming, especially on a phone or a camera that isn't very good quality anyway, when it's all shaky and they're putting the phone down on the table and it goes all black and with the shake in it and it's really low resolution, that video, even if their animals are really cool, it's not going to make me want to watch the video. So even if your camera isn't very good, I would definitely recommend investing in the tripod because at least that will keep it in focus. Uh, make sure you have good lighting. Um, it's kind of hard for me in this room because I've got a terrible light. Um, that's why some of the videos are quite uh, dim and I have to up it in editing and you kind of got, get a lot of glare as you can see already up here. Um, there's glare in all the tanks so when I film I think it's quite distracting when you see me in the reflection so I have to try and angle it. 
or, or I just take the glass out completely when I film uh, the vivariums. So definitely you need to consider quality. Uh, so I would definitely, like I said, definitely recommend investing in a tripod or try and be really still with it because that will, that is what will really, um, really improve your quality of your videos and get your subscriptions up. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the actual videos you're making. Um, if you really want to be getting a lot of views on your videos, you need to be you need to be making and uploading videos that people want. For example, uh, a very it's all right making a very specific video when you already have um, s subscribers, or you're not looking to particularly gain subscribers. You just want to make the video. For for example, if I was only on 100 subscribers, but I really wanted some more subscribers, making a video such as um, how to install a light bulb into a bracket in a reptile terrarium. Um, it's it's a good video. It might be a helpful video for people who search it. However, it's not going to be widely available to, uh, to people looking for a channel. For example, if I was just going out looking for an, a new reptile um, channel to watch, I wouldn't search how to install a reptile bracket into a terrarium because that's very specific. You'd upload videos like reptile updates, uh, reptile feedings, reptile unboxings. Those are the three videos that get the most amount of views and will get views to your channel very quickly. Uh, combining that with the thumbnails and good titles is really going to attract people to your channel. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that you're making videos that people are going to watch. There's no point making all these videos like, um, like videos that are very obscure and then uploading 20 obscure videos that might be good videos but people aren't searching and wondering why people aren't subscribing it's because not many people are finding the videos um, obviously you can do that if you're not too bothered about subscribers but uh, I think a lot of people are and so you should definitely be trying to make your videos uh, purposeful for your target audience okay so another thing I've seen a lot of people do in their videos is they tend to procrastinate from the topic subject. Now, if you don't know what procrastinate means, it means doing something away from what you're supposed to be doing or going off sub topic or going off subject. Now, there is one person in particular that does this. Um, I've only started watching him recently. I'm not going to name him. Um, but he tends to talk about a subject and then he'll completely go off for a few minutes and then he'll come back to the subject. Um, now his reptile videos are fine, I actually quite enjoy them, however sometimes when he does this it's not always what I'm watching the video for and so I tend to lose interest when he does that bit and I have to kind of skim through the videos because if I'm being completely honest that's not what I'm, I'm watching the video for, I'm watching it for the title. So you should really try and, I know I do it sometimes when I talk about an update or something but that I try and limit that to 10 or 15 seconds but when it goes on for a few minutes on, an, an, on a different subject then that's when it really starts to get boring and that's when people start clicking off your videos and not subscribing so you really want to keep your videos to the point um, of what you're trying to say. Okay so the last thing I want to talk about in this uh, tips for a reptile channel uh, video is um, putting your personality traits and stuff like that and your reptile things you'll see in a minute um, to one side in order to make the video better what I mean by this is um, there's a channel on YouTube that I'm not going to name because I don't know if you'd want me to name him for this um, that I really like and he has a very very strong Liverpudlian accent if you're American um, I don't really know how to explain the accent to you but to people that don't live in Liverpool it can be very um, confusing um, and it, it's hard to understand sometimes. Now what he has to do, because he knows this, he has to really talk slowly and really try and pronounce his words, which makes it a lot easier for people like me to understand it and watch his videos. However, if he talked normally and with his Liverpoolian accent, I would find it very difficult to watch his videos and I probably wouldn't watch them as much as I do. Um, so you really need to consider things like that in your video, like if you talk really really quickly and um, people, sometimes you struggle with people not understanding you, in your videos you should really try and talk slower so people really can. Um, along with this, uh, things to do with your reptiles, if you have um, dirty cages and stuff, um, film a video after you've cleaned them because if I watch a video where the cages are really dirty and stuff, it's just going to question whether 
they're a channel that I really want to be watching. There may be a few of my videos where so something's been in there that I didn't know about, but I've carried on with the video. But overall, I try and make sure that my snakes are as clean as possible, especially when I'm filming. Uh, I try and maintain their, their husbandry at all times, however. When I'm filming a video, I, I really try and make sure they're all clean for that exact reason. Um, so that is just one more thing you need to consider. Now, if you have taken any tips or learned anything new in this video, please leave a like and tell me down in the comments what you've learned. Um, I hope I have uh, gave, give you a, given you a few tips um, as how to improve your YouTube channel. Uh, if, you, if I have, like I said, tell me down below, leave a like and subscribe because that would be absolutely great. And it's, uh, it's been Jason Snakes and I hope to see you all on Saturday.